All right, ladies and gentlemen, our second bout of the evening, a featherweight reserve bout, features a world travel kickboxing veteran taking on a fighter whose do or die style has gained him fans throughout Japan. Here comes Zen Fujita and Charlotte Sabu. In the blue corner. Dan Fujita, Japan's own, the 32-year-old. This is one tough fighter, Stephen. Yeah, he's a really interesting guy. He says he's not a kickboxer. He just likes to punch people. And then his best weapon is his guts. <laughs> when he's not demolishing fighters in the ring, he owns a house-demolishing company. Yeah, well, he, 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 he says he trains in fighting, not in martial arts. This guy's a quote machine. Uh, when you fight in the street, you don't know anything about your opponent. I like that, and he wants to keep it like that here when he faces uh, Charlotte. This guy brings it. Yeah, he's it, really said he's going to go for the knockout, which is a rare thing for a Thai fighter because in Muay Thai fights in Thailand, the Thailand, you know, they, they pace out for a couple rounds, but this is a tournament fight. You want to get things done as quickly as possible. And his right leg is his weapon, both to the leg and the head. Strong Muay Thai kicks for Sean Lex Samui. And our tail of the tape on paper, Charnleck has youth on his side and is vastly more experienced. So let's see if Fujita can use his height advantage to keep the tie on the outside. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this featherweight reserve bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man proved his toughness at the road to glory, Japan in March. His young professional record, 11 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, 4 of those wins by knockout. He stands 1.75 meters and he weighed in at 64.85 kilograms. Representing Japan, ladies and gentlemen, Zen Yokosuka Falling Angel Fujita! His opponent tonight fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai specialist who has competed worldwide from the U.S. to Sweden and Australia and here in Japan. His professional record truly impressive. 67 wins, 20 losses, 2 draws, 37 big wins by knockout. At 1.66 meters, he weighed in at 64.75 kilograms. Representing Thailand, here he is, Cholek Super Pro! And here's your referee, Kenichi Sarazawa. No throwing, okay? Okay, shoot on. Thank you, Lana. Okay, all right. We are set for our second reserve fight of the evening, Zen Fujita. He will be in the blue corner with the blue gloves, taking on Chanlek Samui, who, Stephen, no! wearing the red gloves, a very active fighter at 24 years old, already 89 total bouts. Yeah, I, it's, it's also, also a good thing when you see a Japanese fighter versus a Thai fighter, because there's all that legacy there. Karate comes from Japan, whereas Muay Thai has been fabled to be the best standing sport fighting style there is. So. We're going to see if uh, Fujita can please his hometown crowd here. 
Vegeta throws a combination, and our referee will separate our fighters. Look for Fujita to continue to move forward. There's a kick caught there by Samui. Fujita has got to use forward movement, but use it wisely. Otherwise, he's going to walk right into that straight right hand of some weight. Both fighters exchange strong low kicks there. Thirty-two years old, Zen Fujita, holding the leg of Samui. Fujita has basically let uh, the tie fighter walk him up against the ropes, and I don't know that he wants to have his back up against the ropes. No, he wants to use that ring to his advantage. High kick there by Fujita. Big shots there by Samui. Yeah, Samui was really trying to hit the home run there. He missed some of those, but he landed a knee on the inside. He connects with one of those rights. It could be all over. 37 career knockouts for Samui. And you see the two different styles. Uh, we see that Fujita is using a lot more movement, a lot more bouncing, where Samui, he's basically a very still, um, constantly plodding forward, trying to set up that right leg of his to the leg or to the head. Oh, nice front kick by Samui. Oh, that was beautiful. That one got through and did some damage. We are under a minute to go in round number one. That kick came out of nowhere. Really did very fast. Fighters are separated. Fujita just misses with a straight. And Fujita probably wants to stay out of that clinch. With a knockout artist, that's probably a good thing to do. Yeah, some, you know, being a Thai fighter, that's one of Muay Thai's specialties, clinch fighting. Seems like Samui is taking his time, very calm. Oh, nice right to the face of Fujita. And that right hand was set up off a fake no, right roundhouse kick which Fujita bought and he left his head open. Fujita really coming in there and lands a good left hand. Sean like Samui looked good in that opening round, Stephen. Yeah, he really did. He's very relaxed and he was basically waiting and that front kick, just a slap, an embarrassment basically, not going to knock somebody out with that kick, but when you get hit with that, not only does it smell bad, but it also set, sets you out of your game because you thought, wow, I got hit with something, and I got, it's like getting slapped in the face. But if he closed that distance a little bit more, that could have done some big-time damage. Yeah, it could have. If you kicked with the ball of the foot, a la Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort. But uh, definitely, uh, Sean Leck, Samui, won that round, in my opinion. Let's see what the judges think. underway between Sean Lex Samui and Zen Fujita. Sean Lex, Char, so, sorry, Ron. Sean Lex opened up with a left roundhouse kick to the body, which is uh, probably more of a distraction. Oh, I love the combination there. Uh, Samui is coming in with some raging punches. Good straight right and left hook. High kick by Fujita, and that was a big body kick there from Samui. He trapped the leg, and a lot of times fighters that don't have good balance will fall. But for sure, Thai fighters are used to getting those legs trapped, and they'll, they'll just bounce around forever on the other side and wait for you to let go, and then they'll crack you in the face like Sean, uh, Sean like just did. Fighters clinch up, and a referee will separate them. Fujita seems to like to catch those kicks. He's done it several times in this bout. Fortunately, he's not going to win the fight by catching kicks. True. <laughs> in kick. more ways than one. From oh! Good right hand by Chonglet. 
John Lick seems to be finding his groove here in the second round. John Lick been, been fighting Muay Thai since he was a teenager. He's done it all his life. 89 total fights, very comfortable in the ring. And there's a big kick there by Samui. That was a huge right roundhouse kick. But it's the right straight from Charnlet that is really surprising because he's starting to land that thing. Looks like Vegeta was stunned there for a second. Gathers himself, catches another kick and counters. Interesting in the clinch. Uh, Sean like Samoe doesn't really do a lot of work trying to, he doesn't try to catch the neck, get into a neck wrestling thing where he can land in either the body or head. He just ties up and waits for the ref to break. Under a minute to go in round number two. The second reserve fight of the evening, Glory 8 Tokyo. Samui just missing with that solid right hand. Fujita has got to do some damage here, and that, that's really hard to do because uh, Sean like Samui has got really good defense. Uh, his tight arm shields protecting his ribs and his head, and he just marches forward and tries to land bombs like that low kick right there. Combination by Samui. He's in a strong knee. Ten seconds to go here in round number two. I think that was another round for Sean like Samui. Uh, he did everything right. Uh, Fujita is getting frustrated now because nothing he can do is able to hurt the tie fighter. Uh, just catching the leg or catching a kick is not going to do that. Take a look and, at some of the action of round number two. Yeah, and uh, you know, even when he gets that leg caught, he's still throwing punches over the top, and he, and he just defies Fujita to do damage. And there it is. He throws that right hand, and he's balancing on one foot, and he lands it, and he presses forward. And when they start shaking their head like that, that's when they want to rumble. Samui delivered that solid kick to the ribs of Fujita. Second up, please. Gotcha. Round number three of this reserve fight here at Glory 8 Tokyo. Chan Lexamui with the red gloves and Zen Fujita with the blue. And at this point, Stephen, you would think that Fujita needs a knockout as we take a look at our scores. Yeah. That there we have a scoring on round number uh, two, and they also scored that identical in round number one. So you're right, Ron. Uh, Fujita definitely needs a couple of knockdowns minimum to get back into this fight, Fujita. or knockouts more specifically. Fujita pressing forward now with a sense of urgency. Fighters clinching are broken up. Samui really in cruise control as he throws a knee. Even though you only can clinch for three seconds, you can still do some damage in those three seconds. Yeah, Fujita just doesn't have the power in his punches to do any damage uh, against, you know, a brick house like Samui. That's a great way to describe Samui. Uh, He's like a little short of tank coming at you. You know, and watch the clinch. There's the knee sneaking it up. Fujita lands. Yeah, he did land that right uppercut, but it didn't do much. I think Samui wasn't thrilled with me saying that. He looked right at us, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, he does speak English, so. But nonetheless, I can't let that interfere with my commentary. There you go. <laughs> you are a pro, my friend. Oh, nice low kick sweep by Samui. And down goes Fujita. First knockdown there for Samui. Approaching one minute to go in this third and final round. Oh. 
Fujita needs to do something spectacular here. Delivers the knee to the side. He's coming in looking busy, but again, his uh, punches aren't really doing anything to slow or to stop the forward momentum of uh, Chong Lek. Nice right there by Chong Lek. Fighters separated under 30 to go. Fujita with a combination, but a nice counter there by Samu. That was a nice combination by Fujita, but uh, for the three or four punches that he landed, uh, Samoy came over the top of that right hand and did probably more damage. Ten seconds to go in third and final round, Stephen. Fujita really trying to land that right hand, but it misses again. Well, they turned up the heat there at the end of round number three. But Samui looked to be the more accurate puncher, but there was more aggression in that round from Fujita, that's for sure. Might have been a little too little, a little too late for Zen Fujita. I think you're right, Ron. Really a dominating performance by John Lex Samui as we take a look at some of the highlights. Yeah, because see the cover up there, and only one of those basically got in for Fujita. And Samoy landed, or you know, he got the spin around and landed the knee to the body. There was a couple really good shots by Fujita. Especially that good, uppercut that got through. Yeah, good left hook, good uppercut. But once they get into the clinch, you know, tapping away with those legs. That man there from Thailand, Sean Lex Super Pro Samoy. Call him Super Pro because that's the gym. Let's find out what our judges think and go up to Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, here now is our judges scoring 146-139 for your winner in the red corner, Charlie Samui. Uh, pretty much how we thought. Uh, I see that one of the judges actually scored the fight for Fujita, 49-46, where the other ones had it uh, definitely for Charlie Super Pro Samui. Sean Lick, super pro Samui, wins the reserve fight, and who knows if somebody is injured in our glory tournament tonight. Maybe we see him again. Could be a force. Got great technique. Great weapons. Good kicks, good punches. Very well-rounded fighter, Sean Lick, Samui, and then we check out our glory featherweight rankings and just like that he moves up to number 13 Stephen. yeah that's uh you know pretty soon he's going to top crack the top 10 got to get busy uh, fight some of these tough guys up in the top 10 though